Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today where we're going to take a bit of a look at how you're able to report on your rates within the new book system. The first report we have here is called our booking staying report. I'm going to run this for the year of 2023 and you'll see in our group by drop down options we have the ability to run this report grouped by rate type. This is great because it's going to tell me exactly how many bookings I have staying within 2023 grouped by the actual rate that they booked on. If you click into these drop downs you do have a variation of other ways you can group this report so it is really helpful for other marketing purposes. If we simply run you'll see a pie chart at the top here which is going to group all of your different rate types by section or segment. On the left you'll see your rate types listed. The best thing about this report is that it not only lists rate types, it also notes any bookings that have been saved on the no billing feature or any bookings that have been set up with a repeat charge. You can see information like the total amount of bookings per rate type, cancelled bookings, average revenue per night, active bookings, occupants, average revenue at a per booking level, the average booking length, rate type percentage, which is a great way to see out of 100% which rate type is booking the most. How many nights overall were booked and what is your projected revenue? If you head down to the bottom of the report settings, you can always click on the advanced button here, which allows you to filter and refine this report even further. So if you were wanting to look at a particular booking rate, you can click into here and select and then run the report and it will simply show that information. For those of you who also include inventory items or extras within your bookings, you can also specify whether you want NewBook to incorporate the revenue to do with those or not. So simply turn that on to yes or no, depending on your preference. You also have the option to do subgroup by, which is a great way to break this down even more. So I might want to look at the rate type grouped by a category of accommodation. So once I select here and run the report, you'll see new books splits this up into separate reporting boxes. Always remembering that if you want to run your report in a different format, you have your output options on the right where you can print as PDF and email if you need to as well. CSV to export and Excel to export. The second report I'd like to show you is our bookings placed report. Now this looks very much the same as the staying report, but it's looking at a different statistic. It's essentially looking at when a booking has been saved or placed within the system regardless of when it's actually staying. So I could technically make a booking today, but I could be staying next year. So this report is giving us that information. You've got again your date options and your group by drop downs where I've selected rate type. You have your output options on the right and you also have your advanced options where you can further filter this down as well and then simply run the report. And again, you're going to get another pie graph at the top and it's going to group your rate types on the left and give you very similar information based on this reporting function. The third report I'd like to show you is our dynamic pricing report. Now this is going to be valuable for those of you who have implemented dynamic rates within your property. If I run this for the year and run the report, what it's going to do is show us our rates that we have set up with dynamic pricing. It will then tell us the period that they're available between how many actual bookings you've received on those rates. And then what it will do is look at the dynamic base total. So essentially this is the price that your rates would have been if they were static and you had kept them at a base price. However, it's telling us over here, based on what was booked, this is how much money you've actually bought in. And the column on the right is the difference. So how much money you made on top of your base price by implementing your dynamic rates. So it really is a great tool. You can see so far we've made an additional $845 for the year. This report can be run in different ways. At the minute I'm grouping it by the actual rate, but I could do this by the category of accommodation. And I can also filter by when these bookings were placed when they're staying, when they're due to arrive, or when they're due to depart. So if I look at staying and rerun the report, we're going to get a slightly different variation. You can see it's grouping it by the actual category of accommodation, the dates, the bookings that fall within that, again, the 
base rate, the quoted rate, and how much money you earned on top of that. The fourth report I'd like to show you is our rate type occupancy report. This is very similar to our standard occupancy report, but it's looking specifically at your rate types. So if I have a look at occupancy for the year of 2023, I can report on this based on the actual rate type or even the interval of your rates. And underneath, I can also group it by the instance overall, by category type or by category. So if we run this one here, you'll be able to see you've got your rate types grouped on the left. And again, it's giving you information such as total bookings, percentage of total bookings that make up 100% based on the rate type, the overall site nights that were available during that period, and percentage of site nights available, nights used, percentage of night used, projected earnings, inclusive and exclusive of tax, and then the percentage of your total projected earnings, again, that make up those rate types. If you want to, again, regroup this report and run it to break it down further, if you do it by category type, you'll see it reshuffles to display things such as our sites that are grouped together, our villas, our studios, and so on. Then you can go down to a category level as well. The second last report we're going to look at today is our overridden booking rates report. I'm going to run this one for the year. And what it's going to do is show us how many bookings within the new book system have been overridden by a staff member. So when you run this report, you can see I've run this for the year of 2023. It's currently in summary mode. So it's grouping by the users in the system and it's telling me how many overrides have been done by that person, what the original value of the bookings were and uh, the overridden amount total and whatever the difference is. So if they've increased the price in this instance, it's showing me that I've actually made more money. But if you've got staff members that are essentially overriding things and you're losing revenue, this is a great report to monitor those particular ones. You can also run this in list mode to dive deeper if you'd like to see which actual bookings are affected by those overrides in particular. Again, you've got your advanced options where you can filter by staff member. You can also look at information such as when it was overridden, when it was maybe booked, when the booking was last updated, the quoted rate date, or when it was due to arrive or depart. And you've got some additional group by options here as well that you're able to refine. Lastly, I just wanted to point out on some of the reports such as our booking staying report and placed report, in the top right, you do have an options button where you may have the ability to column configure. So we do always recommend if there's any extra information you're hoping to retrieve from the report, click into the column configuration option. And what it will do is bring a pop-up box and you can configure the report settings for yourself and essentially everyone else at the property if you have access to do so. It'll show you any hidden columns that aren't actually displaying. And, you know, if there are any that you want to remove, you can simply press the red minus to get those off of the report. Separate to that as well, if you want to learn more about the report or you have any other questions and you're wanting to find some answers, always click on that question mark icon in the top right and it will generally give you information about the page that you're on. And in this instance, you can see it's giving us an overview of the booking staying report and what options you've got there to run it. If this is helpful, you can pin it to your favorites and refer back to it within your favorite section at a later stage. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today. We hope you've enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.